All right, our position today, we're going to go into start now. We don't know which one there's no ailerons or ailerons on it, so it's not going to... over long range is the acoustics. It's the way they used to, to communicate and uh, basically it's the same principle because sounds propagate into water and it's able to reach long distance. You have the issue though that uh, the, the bandwidth is limited. So every bit count when you, when you uh, communicate using acoustic counts. Ele não consegue fazer um orbit point um pouquinho mais perto do... do, do...
We can't cover everything uh, with manned assets. Not one, it's a cost problem, and uh, number two, it's a, it's a, uh, it's you want to keep the man out of that danger zone, right? So, so that that that's a huge asset having an unmanned system out there. It's, it's a cost thing. Uh, you know, the, the system's probably going to be, you know, lighter, cheaper, you know, easier to get there than sending guys in, right? Um, so, you know, that safety factor, right? So you might not. You might not care if you lose that unmanned system. Uh, you're going to care if you, you know, you're putting those guys in danger. Uh, so, uh, you know, unmanned system, you, you, you know, it's cheap relatively. Uh, so you, you don't necessarily care if you lose it as long as you get the data back that you that you're uh, sending it out there for for mission. The importance of that in a wartime scenario, you want to be able to make. You want to be able to have the force projection, which you get from working with our allies. You want to be interoperable because that has obvious synergies. And you want to be able to have the most relevant, up-to-date information consolidated into a decision-making tool, which is what we've done here 